Hey guys, let's discuss today's uh, current affairs questions and the first one relates to a CAG report. Um, the Comptroller and Auditor General has come out with this audit report that states that public sector unit general insurance companies have incurred losses of a little over 26,000 crore in five years. In this context, which of the following is not a public sector unit? Well, um, all of these are public sector units, so we will do one thing. First, we'll write uh, the name of the CHE, Comptroller and Auditor General. The full form is Comptroller and Auditor General, whose main job, this is the constitutional body, whose main job uh, is to audit the ex, you know, expense accounts of the government of India, uh, its various ministries, departments, and you know, public sector units, and all. So, audit function is the main function of the CAG. The current CAG is Girish Chandra Murmu. Girish Chandra Murmu, ex uh, Lieutenant Governor of Jammu and Kashmir, Girish Chandra Murmu. Now, all of these companies here have. Um, are public sector uh, general insurance companies. So let's look at this. Uh, see, the first one, New India Assurance Company, was started by a guy called Dorabji Tata. You must have heard of the Dorabji Tata. Dorabji Tata. He started this way back in 1990. Known in the case of this company, I'll mention all these things. Sir Dorabji Tata started New India Assurance Company way back in 1919, and this was nationalized in 1973. 1973. Uh, it is India's largest general insurance company based on gross premium collections. Okay, gross G R O S S. It's pronounced gross, not gross. Gross. Okay. Now this is um, New India Assurance is India's biggest um, general insurance company. Now let's go a little beyond this and let's look at who runs this company. See, this company's current chairperson is um, uh, Madhulika Bhaskar, but uh, that's an interim arrangement, interim chairperson, so we'll not focus on this. This is headquartered in Mumbai. Head office is in Mumbai. Now, four of these companies have different head offices in four different cities. Okay, let's look at United India. Please write this. United India, um, Chennai, I think it's headquartered in Chennai. Yeah, in Chennai and uh, its um, CEO, chairperson is Satyajit Tripathi. Satyajit Tripathi. Next, Oriental Insurance. Oriental Insurance is headquartered in New Delhi. Let me clear this first. New Delhi. Oriental Insurance, New Delhi, and it's run by Anjan Day. The chairperson is Anjan Day. Okay. National Insurance Company Limited. It's headquartered in Kolkata, and the chairperson is Suchita Gupta. Suchita Gupta. You could write with an H also. Suchita T H A also. No harm. It's a proper noun. Hmm? So this is a little about uh, public sector general insurance companies. Okay. Next. Whom the following tennis players won the 2022 City Open in Washington? Now, this tournament, tennis tournament, is actually called Washington Open. It's called Washington Open. But for sponsorship reasons, because Citibank Group sponsors this tennis tournament, it's called City Open. But otherwise, the actual name is Washington Open. It's, it's held in Washington, D.C., which is the you know, capital of America, the United States of America. So if you would want um, some dope on this, I can give you who was the winners. We'll just look at the winners, not the runners. up. So men's singles winner men's singles winner okay men's singles winner nick kirgios of australia of australia 
then women singles winner women singles winner ludmila samsonova ludmila samsonova of russia women singles winner ludmila samsonova of russia now let's go a little beyond this and let's look at men's doubles winners men's doubles winners nick kirgios of australia and and jack sock of us jack sock of us okay jack sock of us next women's doubles winners let me clear this women's doubles winner uh, what's her name jessica pegula jessica pegula of the us us and erin now some names are difficult to remember but it's okay i mean you don't really have to struggle much you don't have to remember everything you just become familiar root will root fill sorry no no it's pronounced uh, root um, lifey see this is uh, i was just mentioning this and um, now i got the spelling incorrect okay <laughs> it happens all the time because these are not names that are familiar to people like us yeah and that while that is no excuse root lefe of new zealand new zealand root lefe erin root lefe okay but what there is do you know these guys daniel medvedev belongs to russia djokovic serbia nadal spain Sitsipas, Greece. Hmm? Veteran actor Pradeep Patwardhan passed away recently. He was associated with Marathi films, and uh, this is one of those questions about which I have pretty little to share with you. So, except that he was a Marathi veteran actor, he passed away at the age of sixty-four. Okay, he was both a theatre and um, you know what to say, a film actor. see back uh, uh, i mean a few years back when i in fact not few years back when i was a kid when i was a, in the school i learned uh, this difference between cinema and theater okay cinema and theater what's the difference between cinema and theater a theater is a play, place where dramas are played theater is a place where dramas are played while a cinema is a place where movies are shown so cinema is for movies theater is for dramas now of course these words are it's used interchangeably where did you go i went to the theater we said theater but theater is for dramas okay it's okay to not differentiate but to know the difference is good actually hmm Serena Williams who recently announced her retirement from professional sport from professional tennis is associated with of course uh, the world number 1 former world number 1 tennis player Serena Williams of US of US she has won a record 23 grand slam events she is second in the all time list 23 grand slam events like there are four grand slams like you know the Australian Open French Open um what is that um, wimbledon and uh, the us open okay uh, in the calendar year the first event is among the slams that is grand slams there are four grand slams first one is australian open followed by the french open in the third place um is the wimbledon and in the last the last event to happen in the calendar year is the us open now the serena williams one has won 23 grand slam events and um, of these seven are wimbledon which is considered the the most sacred of all tennis tournaments sacred huh? uh, and of course another seven australian open three times she has won the french open french open is not generally um, the the playground of those who play pretty well on um, 
you know uh, grassy surfaces because French Open is clay court it's a clay court so that's um, Serena Williams and she has won a record prize money of 95 million dollars 95 million dollars she's something that she has won in prize money alone forget the endorsements from Nike and all, the, all that she's wearing a Nike t-shirt okay she uses Nike gear shoes and all that while playing so she's she has a multi-million dollar deal with Nike you know, to promote Nike apparel and you should know one more thing that um, she stands first among women athletes uh, in earnings in earnings lifetime earnings she has won more than any other woman athlete yeah. 95 million dollars take 100 million dollars 100 million dollars into that's close to 800 crore rupees okay find the correct statements uh, about the 44th chess olympiad held in india well um what's mentioned here i'm going to give you more on this please write 44th chess olympiad 44th chess olympiad um okay right that is very important please write this and because this is an event that has happened in india uh, it's likely that you would be asked questions in the exams, in the interviews and all. So please write. 44th Chess Olympiad. Below that, first point. Hosted by Chennai. Venue, Chennai. Venue, Chennai. Second point. Originally, originally, schedule, originally scheduled or originally planned originally planned at Kanti there is a Russian place called Kanti it's a very small town somewhere in the middle of Russia actually in the in the center of Russia okay Mansisk Kanti Mansisk in Russia it was scheduled for 2020 but COVID happened and it had been postponed indefinitely and now finally it's been held in our country's Chennai, okay, our Chennai city. Originally planned here in Kanti uh, Masinsk. Next, torch relay starter. Who started the torch relay? Torch relay starter. Vishwanathan Anand. Vishwanathan Anand. Next. Cauldron lit by cauldron the fire lit by D Gukesh Dhammaraju Gukesh and Pregna so sorry guys so sorry um, Pregnananda or Prajnananda Ramesh Babu Ramesh Babu is actually called Prague. You remember him like Prague and Gukesh. That's enough. Okay. Next. Um, next one. Yeah. Best winners. Sorry. Best players. I'm so sorry. Best players. Best players. There are two categories here. One open category including men women all okay open category david howell david howell he belongs to scotland which is in uk united kingdom open category david howell and next women's best women's player best women's player uh, Olivia Kiolbasa Olivia Kiolbasa of Poland slightly difficult names and this is the first time I heard of her so this 22 year old Olivia 
from Poland had won the best women's player title. Okay. Next, there is one trophy that was given for the best performance, combined performance, men and women category. Okay. Write this. Um, the to number three, the trophy is called Gary Prandish. Gary Prandish Willy Trophy, India. India. Hmm? In some places, I found this name to be like this Gap, Gap, not Gary. Okay? Gap Rand, Gap Randish. So, I mean, you can write either basically you see because uh, i found it's gaprinda this spelling i found in one of the sources this is the common spelling gaprinda shuli trophy won by india india next next uh, men's top three gold silver bronze women's okay Uzbekistan okay for those of oh it's mentioned here Uzbekistan in full here Uzbekistan next Armenia in Armenia and then bronze taken by India team B see this India B or two, it's called India two. Okay, women's Ukraine. It's mentioned here. Ukraine won the gold medal. Next, um, Georgia silver was taken by Georgia and India. Both the bronzes were taken by India. Okay. Easy to remember both the bronzes India and um, you, you. Yes. Okay. Armenia and Georgia are neighboring countries. That's also something you can learn. Remember. Yeah, you could also write. I'll write, leave this now. 2026. Chess Olympiad. 2026. Venue Budapest. You know this place, Budapest? It's a capital of Hungary. Yeah, Hungary. It's a capital of Hungary. Next. A small farmer, in terms of the size of the land he cultivates, either as an owner or a tenant or a sharecropper, is someone with one between one and two hectares between one and two hectares that's a small farmer so who is a marginal farmer you could write this Ma marginal farmer marginal farmer um, less than one acre sorry one hectare less than one hectare less than one hectare Next, large farmer, more than 10 hectares, more than 10 hectares. Next, 86 percent, it's actually 86.2, make it 86, 86 percent of all Indian farmers, of all farmers, 86% of all Indian farmers are oh sorry belong to belong to small and marginal farmer category. Small and marginal farmer category. Small and marginal farmer category. Next. Next. Uh, one more thing, you could write this. 
ऑल इंडिया सो एक्स्ट्रा स्टफ माई फ्रेंड्स ऑल इंडिया एवरेज लैंड होल्डिंग साइज और एवरेज साइज ऑफ लैंड होल्डिंग बोथ आर फाइन एवरेज लैंड होल्डिंग साइज वन पॉइंट जीरो एट हेक्टेयर माई फ्रेंड्स आई वेंट थ्रू गवर्नमेंट डेटा टू कलेक्ट दिस स्टाफ बेसिकली नेक्स्ट हाइएस्ट लैंड होल्डिंग साइज हाइएस्ट एवरेज लैंड होल्डिंग हाइएस्ट एवरेज लैंड होल्डिंग नागालैंड हाउ 5.06 make it 5 hectares 5 is good 5 hectares next lowest or smallest smallest is better smallest land holding smallest land holding smallest average land holding dash kerala kerala 0.16 hectares 0.18 hectares point 18 hectares hmm so that's a little about small you know land holdings in india i mean we have pretty little small you know land holdings and you should know one thing that uh, the land is going to be fragmented further is going to fragment further primarily because of the growing size of the families um you know uh, today you see person a had 4 acres four children one acre okay then you know one person has let's say uh, of these four basically four children each has two children then again it's split typically we don't we, we don't believe in consolidating land a property we believe in you know distributing the property so land size is becoming smaller by the day yeah and that has its own problems one cannot use intensive extensive agriculture practices one not cannot use machine much actually yeah so once the crop output the output the yield is also on the lower side yeah. the provision of banking services on the internet over a secure website is known as online banking we all know this online banking could be a mobile banking platform could be basic desktop or you know computer website uh, what's a uh, normal website uh, banking so what is otherwise called online banking okay there's hardly anything to discuss here reverse mortgage see the t is silent is me jo t hai that is silent you don't pronounce it you pronounce only the mortgage part mortgage i know it sounds awkward but that's the way it's pronounced more gage that's how that's the way to pronounce it you can say mortgage also no harm absolutely no harm so what exactly is reverse mortgage mortgage is girvi rakna pawning some property as a security to while borrowing money but reverse mortgage is where you the banker gives you money so i want you to write um, some dope on this please write reverse mortgage okay underline that first point why so aim aim is to provide aim is to provide aim is to provide a secure and regular income secure and regular income for senior citizens for senior citizens who own who own o w n own self occupied self occupied house property who own self occupied house property in india in india so from senior citizens to they need to have self occupied house property within the country okay it's not that you own a property and you let it out no it has to be self occupied okay next mm -hmm. um the oh, what is it income income is paid income is within brackets 
um, is kind of an EMI, equated monthly installment. Income is in the form of a monthly payment. Income is in the form of monthly payment. Next, minimum age at borrowing, minimum age at borrowing is 60 years. 60 years. See, for the borrower, it's 60 years. For the spouse, it is 55 years. 55 years. Next, minimum amount, minimum amount of loan, minimum amount of loan is 1 lakh, 1 lakh, while the maximum is, while the maximum is 1 crore, 1 crore. Next, you don't have to write something like, okay, let's write, no problem. Loan value, loan value of up to 90%, loan of up to 90% of assessed, assessed, A -S -S -E -S -S -E -D, assessed value. in metro cities is given so if it's a, you have a house in metro city if the senior citizen has a house in metro okay 90 percent of the value of the assessed value is given in loan if it's in bracket you can write in brackets 80 percent in urban non-metro 80 percent in urban non-metro and 70% 70% in in non metro non urban so if the assessed value let's say is um, 1 crore up to 90 lakhs in loan is given okay that no lump sum is paid by the bank to the borrower Every month, some money goes to the, as an EMI goes to the borrower. So if I take a house, like I have a property. Now, let me tell you how it works. I have a property. I am old, pretty old, 65 years old, 60 plus. Yeah, I don't have a regular source of income, but I have a house in which I live. So what I can do is this. I can mortgage this with a bank okay, in a very different sense. I won't take a lump sum. The bank won't give me a lump sum. The bank would say, we will do one thing, sir. We will take your house. Yeah. On this, we will pay you an EMI. The value of the house is 1 crore. We will give you, let's say, 90 lakh rupees. But every month, we will give you some part of this as EMI. So you don't have to repay us. No, no. Don't repay us. None of the amount is repayable. You know, it needs to be repaid. But every month, we will give you some money. Okay. Now, in case of the death of the borrower, the main borrower, in case the bor main borrower dies, then the loan becomes due. And how does the loan become due? Should the surviving member pay it? No. The surviving member can either sell the house, okay, to the bank or, you know, can, you know, move out and give the house to the bank. That's it. Can move to an institution can move to an old age home, can move to relatives, but the house is then taken care of, then you know, taken possession by, possession of by the bank. That's it. The house becomes the bank's property. That's it. It's a very good way actually. It's, it's a pretty sensible way. One doesn't have to depend on anyone else for, to, to be, to take care of, to be taken care of. Yeah. Especially when it comes to money, people, you know, change colors very fast. Somewhere, you know, I was listening to this great song uh, that comes from this old film, Upkar. There is this wonderful line that says, and I'm sure that if you know Hindi, you will understand this quite well. Dete hai bhagwan ko dhoka, insan ko kya chodenge. So when it comes to money, people can cheat God. Forget about humans. Yeah. And old age to some people is a curse because they do not have a regular source of income. But if they have a self-occupied house, they can use this property quite well. 
this this particular product quite well yes so if you want to write the last point when the loan becomes due you could write loan becomes due loan becomes due only when only when the last surviving borrower there could be more than one borrower so we are talking this when the last surviving borrower dies dies or 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 opts 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 to sell opts to sell the house opts to sell the house or permanently move or permanently move 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 out permanently move out to an institution to an institution or relatives or to relatives some people move to their relatives places some people move to institutions like old age homes and everything yeah because care needs to be there yeah. old age brings their its own set of problems my friends name the mexican president who recently proposed a global peace commission led by three leaders including prime minister modi um, the mexican president uh, mexican president andres obrador said that i propose a three member committee that would solve global issues global conflicts and those three would include um, the three members would be pope francis uh, the head of the roman catholic church then the un secretary general antonio guterres uh and of course indian prime minister narendra modi mr uh, no prime minister modi is the only global leader to be uh, you know included this when i say global i am talking about serving head of state head of government basically yeah that's a lot of things that 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 shows the kind of respect that people have the kind of standing that our prime minister has in the global political arena hmm what about the choices here Guillermo Lasso, President of Ecuador. I'll just write here Ecuador. President of Ecuador. Jair Bolsonaro, Brazil. Petro, Gustavo Petro. We learnt in the last class. Colombia, new President of Colombia. Gabriel Boric, President of Chile. And you know this guy is the youngest. head of state ever engaged head of state among serving leaders engaged serving head of state gabriel boric he is 32 years old a little over 32 yeah 32 is like what the young very young actually yeah in india one cannot become a rajya sabha member <laughs> now um who's the oldest um, serving head of state queen elizabeth queen elizabeth she is what 95 years old i guess yeah whom the following persons was appointed to the 49th chief justice of india uday umesh lalit cji uday umesh lalit and one important thing you should know about chief justice uday umesh lalit you you lalit is that he was he is one of is the is only the sixth senior advocate ever to be directly elevated to supreme court he was never a judge at the, uh, at any high court never he never served as a judge in any in the indian judiciary he was directly elevated you know to the supreme court of india think about it just sixth person and uh, you know sixth you could write this six senior advocate ever six senior advocate ever to be directly elected sorry directly elevated that's the right word elevated to the supreme court to the supreme court to the supreme court hmm okay so he is going to have a very short tenure 
I would I think about less than 90 days or something. So I guess uh, he will be succeeded by the person in choice C, the Nanjai Chandrachud. Let's see how it works out. Hmm? With a view to promote co-production co of films, the Union Cabinet recently approved the signing of audio-visual co-production treaty between India and Australia. Or Australia. Yeah. Australia is the sixth largest country in the world, sixth by area. Sixth by area. And um, its capital is Canberra. It has a new Prime Minister, Anthony Albanese. And Albanese. And the currency is Australian dollar. Australian dollar. Australian dollar. So, shall we write only the capitals or uh, something more? I think capitals. Today we will keep it light. Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur, the two capitals, Kuala Lumpur and Putrajaya. Though Putrajaya is a suburb of Kuala Lumpur, let's call it, let's name it actually. Putrajaya and Kuala Lumpur. Belgium, Brussels, the headquarters of the EU, um, European Union. Indonesia, Jakarta, they are going to shortly replace Jakarta with another capital. Find out what is it. Poland, Warsaw. Probably the only capital city in the world where the name starts with W ends in the same letter. Hmm? Which multinational corporation is the first to join the Open Network for Digital Commerce, an Indian government initiative for developing a first of its kind open network for digital commerce? Microsoft. Microsoft. Okay. Microsoft. So, um, The government of India says that there is a great deal of monopoly. Uh, in fact, two major companies have monopolized e-commerce in India, Amazon India and um, Flipkart. And um, at the receiving ends are a lot of small business persons who have to, you know, follow the dictates of these large companies. Because um, small vendors um, have complained that uh, these big players are supporting a, you know, a few select, a select band of, you know, um, traders or select band of, you know, uh, companies or brands on their platforms. So they are helping certain sellers and not helping everyone. And uh, the government of India says that we will have our own e-commerce platform where people would get to know across platforms which is the cheapest, you know, where they can find the cheapest stuff, you know, and who is willing to sell the same thing at the lowest possible price. So it's a win for customers, win for consumers. Let's see how it works out. They are, modal, they are working out the modalities. Hmm? Microsoft is the world's largest software maker, world's largest software maker. This company is run by Satya Narayana Nadella or Satya Nadella. Satya Nadella. Satya Narayana Nadella. Then, okay. TCS Rajesh Gopinathan. Rajesh Gopinathan. Infosys Salil Parekh. This is India's third largest, sorry, second largest IT services company. TCS is first, Infos is second in terms of revenues. Okay, Google is run by Sundar Pichai or Sundar Rajan Pichai. Coming to Cognizant, it's run by an American name, Brian Humphreys. This is an American company. Okay. Whom the following players were named the I AIFF, All India Football Federation, Women's Footballer and Men's Footballer for 21-22. Manisha Kalyan and Sunil Chetri respectively. Sunil Chetri has won it the seven times. I think this title seven times, my friends. He's considered India's finest football player ever. And he has scored more goals 
than any person in history except for two. Cristiano Ronaldo and Lionel Messi are the only two footballers playing, currently playing, who have scored more goals than Sunil, Chot Sunil Chetri. So he is number three in the current players list. What about choice C there? Martina Tokchom and Vikram Pratap. These are emerging players. Emerging players award winners. Women's, men's. Emerging men's player Vikram Pratap. Emerging women's player Tokchom. Okay. There is a dispute going on with AIF, AIFF, uh, it has been sus suspended by FIFA and um, they have taken away the India's right to, they have taken away India's right to host the FIFA Under-17 World Cup also this year. Let's see how it works out. Yeah. Which Indian American teenager was recently crowned Miss India Uni USA in 2022 at the annual beauty pageant held in New Jersey? Arya Vavlekar. So I'm not going to discuss this. I'm generally not interested in these kinds of things. Okay. And this is not something that we should be having fun about. Yeah. You could learn a little about the choices at least. Which company developed the second generation ethanol plant? Yeah. In Panipat. Um, Indian Oil Corporation. India's largest public sector company. India's largest public sector company, Indian Oil Corporation, is run by Srikant Madhav Vaidya. Srikant Madhav Vaidya. India's largest public sector company by revenue. Gail is Gas Authority of India Limited. Gas Authority of India Limited is run by Mano Jain. Manoj Jain, ONGC, Subhash Kumar, Subhash Kumar, I think this is India's most profitable public sector company, if I'm not wrong, ONGC, Oil and Natural Gas Corporation is run by Subhash Kumar, HPCL is Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, Hindustan Petroleum Corporation Limited, is run by Pushp Kumar Joshi. Pushp Kumar Joshi. Okay. There is HPCL, BPCL, IOC. These are all major what are called OMCs. See, IOC, HPCL, BPCL are called OMC, oil marketing companies. Okay. Now. Coming to Reliance Industries, Reliance Industries is run by Mukesh Ambani, Mukesh Dhirubhai Ambani, Mukesh Dhirubhai Ambani, Dhirubhai was a person who started Reliance Industries, his actual name was, full name was Dhiraj, Dhiraj Lal Hirachand Ambani, Dhiraj Lal Hirachand Ambani is Dhirubhai, okay. Whom of the following persons won the World Women Entrepreneurs Award instituted by the Junior Chamber International Hong Kong? Sangeeta Abhayan, E-World. This um, uh, is a company, this is a website where uh, first time I visited this website, um, where I found that they sell saris directly from weavers and all that. They source them from weavers and sell through their website. This is one of them. Now this is uh, Gajal Kaldra. Rivigo is um, a mega, you know, trucking company. So this company was co-started by Gazel, Gazel and um, Gaurav Garg. Yeah, Garg. Sorry, Deepak Garg. Deepak Garg. Rivigo started by Deepak Garg and Gazel Kalra. Okay. The Union Cabinet approved the continuation of the Pradhan Mantri Awas Yojana Urban with a mission called Housing for All up to 31st December 2024. Now, I want you to understand something here. I want you to know rather is that 
the person who heads the urban housing ministry heads another ministry as well so you write hardeep singh hardeep singh puri hardeep singh puri heads housing and urban affairs housing and urban affairs second one is petroleum and natural gas petroleum and natural gas next for which of the following nations did the international cricket council award the associate membership status three cambodia which is to the, to the east of india then uzbekistan in central asia and coat the ivory or ivory coast it's also called ivory coast i want you to write this ivory coast ivory coast you see the capital here amasusuku yeah <clears throat> amasusuku so i'm not going to give the name of the capital it's already mentioned here and um, the president here is alasani autura see these are slightly difficult remember words to names to remember but it's okay okay and the currency is if i'm not wrong franc west african franc hmm see this liberia the country of free it was built as a separate country to settle the slaves freed in america and europe Liberia you see the capital here Monrovia it's named after the fifth american president james monroe who was quite a proponent of freed slaves okay not freedom freed slaves he didn't want freed slaves to be in america he said they if they remain in america they will instigate the the slaves in the south to become free so he wanted them to be dispatched sent you know to some other place that's why liberia was created in 1822 okay then uzbekistan which is in central asia the capital is tashkent tashkent and the president is shavkat mirzi yo yo Okay. Next currency, som. Currency, som. Cambodia. This is one of my favorite countries to learn about. Cambodia. The capital is Phnom Penh. Yeah. And um, the prime minister here is Hun Sen, a dictator. and the currency is real chalo who authored the book bravo yadav a biography of honorary captain yogendra yadav a kargil hero and paramvir chakra recipient paramvir chakra is the highest award given medal given or highest honor given to a military personnel okay for civilians it is bharat ratna for military personnel it is paramvir chakra during war time it's paramvir chakra during peace time it's ashok chakra okay highest awards so deepak singh's biography is bravo yadav now let's take a little beyond this uh, deepak singh wrote the biography of uh, yogendra yadav named bravo yadav jeet tail very good writer he is author of this very good book narcopolis 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 this book was shortlisted for the booker prize in 2012 hmm vikram said i have read all of his books all one book you could write is an equal music an equal music next raskin bond the blue umbrella the blue umbrella
Next, Priti Shinoi. Life is what you make it. Life is what you make it. Rakesh Junjunwala passed away recently in this context which the following statements are about him are true. He was the main promoter of Akasa Air, yes. He was nicknamed India's Warren Buffett and those of you don't know who, who is Warren Buffett. Warren Buffett is considered the greatest stock investor of all time. Warren Buffett is a chairperson of a company called Berkshire Hathaway. Berkshire Hathaway, which owns a lot of companies, okay, you know Duracell, it owns Duracell, okay, it's a main, main shareholder in Coca-Cola, American Express, PNG, okay, McDonald's, it's huge basically, Apple also, and um, Warren Buffett, you know, he, he started with 100, you know, five, some say 100, dollars some say five dollars whatever stories you know he is built a wealth of 90 billion dollars of which he has pledged to give away 99.9 percent .9%. his entire wealth he is going to give away in charity now he was nicknamed the oracle of omaha oracle means wizard magician of omaha he came from a place called omaha someday i'll tell you his story i have written about him so Oracle of Omaha. Now Rakesh Junjinwala built a company called Rare, built a, 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 his own firm called Rare. Rakesh Ari Rekha. Rakesh and Rekha, that's the name, Rare Enterprises, which owns shares worth, you know, um, in large number of companies. He's, he's one of the major shareholders in Titan. Okay. And at the time of his passing away, he was worth something like 40,000 crore rupees. 40,000 crore rupees. So, he's inspired a generation of uh, stock investors, my friends. Which country's central bank raised its benchmark interest rate by 9.5%? Okay. Basis point to keep a lid on spiraling inflation that rose to a 20 here. I here there's on 20 year high of 71 percent inflation in india there is seven percent and people are like going crazy that 71 percent in the argentina so we'll write just write the capitals in this case only the capitals buenos aires paraguay ascension peru lima brazil you know brasilia Colombia, Bogota, Bogota, all Spanish, all Spanish, all of them, hmm? except Brazil, all of them Spanish, Brazil is Portuguese. Name India's first saline water lantern that uses sea water as electrolyte that, you know, it, that sounds very big, no? Sea water as electrolyte as between specially designed electrodes to power LED lamps. What it says is that sea water can be used to power the batteries that will light up these lights, these lamps. Okay, Roshni, this is especially useful for people living in coastal areas, fishermen when they go out to sea and all that. Yeah, this is going to be a huge of huge benefit to the people living in along India's coastline. Thirty percent of India's population lives along the coastline. Yeah, and India has a coastline of about fifteen thousand. 200 square, 15,200 kilometers, of which about 7,500 7, kilometers is mainland coastline. Mainland means this one, okay, which does not have the island territories, which is part of the mainland coast, you know, Asia. Continental Asia is called mainland Asia or mainland India in this case. Mainland India, okay. So it's appropriately called Roshni. Who in the following became the first person from the global south and the first Asian to win the prestigious Lisbon Triennial Millennium BCP Lifetime Achievement Award. The architect called Marina Tabassum from 
Bangladesh. Okay. Now I am not going to discuss this entire thing except this term Global South. Global South relates to developing and underdeveloping, developing and underdeveloped countries. Under developed countries. Developing and underdeveloped countries. Okay. Developing and underdeveloped countries. So basically, countries that are not in Europe, countries that are not in North, you see, except for Canada, US and Europe, Australia, New Zealand, Japan, every other country is developing or underdeveloped country. Yeah, you could say South, South Korea also. So this is the global South. Global North is the developed countries. The developed countries, G7 plus a few more members. Okay. Oh, that's about it. Thank you for being here. That's all from me, Bharat C. Jain. Have a lot of fun. Stay curious. Thank you so much, my friends.